guys welcome back so before going to this video we need your support by sharing our videos and subscribing to our channel so that it would mean a lot to us we will it, it, it will make us to work more even harder so as for subscriber request we are going to now see about rvni limited we are going to see overall view about it so guys please don't waste i mean without wasting time we are going to see about it see it fully guys spending three minutes is very very good for you so moving on now let us see the shareholding pattern of the company the shareholder is nothing but the president of india yes guys what is rbnl rail vikas nigam limited that means they are building rail in the railway coaches and the uh, infrastructure facilities for the railway department solely guys yes guys there are two companies listed in india for this building one is ikron limited and another another is rbnl limited the holder of this company is president of india in the in the ministry of railways they are holding 87.84 percent and also you should know that the foreign investors are increased from 10 to 23 and mutual fund has invest from 3 to 6 now you may ask me or all the promoter holding is uh, president of india now who are the mutual fund holders you will ask me i will show you that also guys if you see the mutual fund holders it is none other than kotak the Kotak Mahindra Bank, you know, that same uh, same scheme, Kotak Tax Saver Scheme and Invesco India PSU Equity Fund hold uh, some stake in it. Also, if you see insurance companies, Life Insurance Corporation of India also holds a stake in it. It holds around 1.68% stake in that company, so guys, you, as you can see here, also financial institution banks also hold the shares and pro, uh, foreign portfolio investors also hold the share so this is this is the overall shareholding pattern which gives a positive sentiment for our investors now moving on now let us see the financial performance of this company so guys this is very very important please carefully listen guys so if you see the profiting margin has been increased from 2.48 percent to 5.14 percent over the past eight years a drastic improvement in it guys and if also see in 2011 the profit was just 61 crore and now it is 600 crores guys almost at 10 times uh, profit has increased in 10 years that's a very very main point to note guys and the basic eps has been improved from 30 paise which was in 2011 it gone up to 1.5 paise 1.5 rupees in 2016 it is now 2.9 or 3 rupees in 2019 that has been steady increase in this uh, financial performance so we are positive on financial performance also guys so moving on the share price is now at 22.8 rupees as on uh, this date guys this is 27 2019 we expect the share technicals are very very weak and it is not showing momentum of any upward movement in order to show the upward movement we are going to give the conclusion now so moving on conclusion it is sure chance of a multi bagger to but to move forward a correction is needed why a correction is needed if a correction comes when if a, if a selling happens people will buy at the low level as this share has a book value of 17.90 paise guys if it comes to 9 if i would buy it if it comes to 19.85 to 20.50 and i will expect target of 29.5 to 30.10 a 30 percent profit is just enough for me within this year to invest in this company guys if you like this news then make sure you comment and subscribe my channel and please leave any comments below so that we could also answer your queries thank you so much for peacefully listening guys